ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and miscellaneous what's not. I've got another LEGO review for you today. LEGO City, uh, it is 5 to 12, 6 0, 0, 5, 3. It's some sort of race car. And it looks like this man's a champion already because he's got the cup. Huzzah! Shall we take a look at the rest of the box? Usual disclaims and so on and so forth. One picture that's upside down. Oh, look, spare tyres. That must have been an accident or something. Why do they keep doing that? Why do they keep changing the box pictures so that you have to keep... Ugh, that just is annoying. Let's see. Oh, for once, there's not a man going, Eee! As if though he's a very bad fonz, but you can see some of the features here. Uh, the rear fin blade type thing that evidently raises and lowers and stuff like that. Uh, and he wins. He's in his car. He raises the fin. He runs around. He wins. Yes, I know that's pathetic. Let's just see. No instructions on how many boxes or bags or whatever there might be, so I'm thinking one bag. No, two bags. Stickers, base unit. Instructions don't want to come out. Right, let's see. Looks like a very simple car, and of course you know my attitude to stickers by now. Huzzah! Well, I'll get on with building them. Total pip. And there we are. All made without the stickers, of course, because I don't like the stickers. Uh, humongously oversized cup uh, to show that he's won something. Uh, obviously the race. Of course, there's no other cars to race with at the moment. Uh, so, yes. Octan, that must be a sponsor. And he's so disgusted with his sponsor for some reason he's decided to drop the cup. Or maybe it's just disgusted that I decided to point it out. No spare face. Uh, in other words, just the one, one face there, so all's good. A little bit of a cocky winning gesture there. No hairpiece either, so you can't have him celebrate the victory without his helmet, without him being bald. And the car looks quite nice as well. Um, interesting builds. I misread the instructions once, which made me think I had a missing part, but it turned out I'd just extended things a little too far. Just turned out I'd extended things a little too far. Uh, but overall, quite a nice little vehicle. I don't think it can really pass at all as a regular uh, vehicle, so if you were to have this as is, in a city street scenario, you'd have to change some of the design decals a little bit. Uh, but it looks fairly decent. Nice build. It's just about one of the other cars I've got out at random. It's a little wider overall, so it doesn't quite fit. Um, same basic base unit there. Uh, much bigger in all dimensions. It's still a car that you only fit one person in. Like so. And the roof does fit on quite nicely, unlike some of the other cars I've reviewed of late. And I do seem to be building quite a car collection. Those of you who have noticed my Lego videos of late have been more or less car, 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 vehicle, vehicle, car, vehicle, car, and so on and so forth, stuff like that. That's not been intentional, it's just that what I've spotted in the shops have mostly been cars. Um, you could, like I say, you could modify this quite easily. Get some orange amber type indicators going as well, change some of the colour schemes if you've got spare bricks and that could make quite an impression as a land vehicle for a city as well but as far as it goes as a racer it looks quite nice it looks quite <laughs> zippy I suppose one thing I've always wondered though, whenever it comes to the spare parts that you get it's always these little bits spare visor, although no spare helmet, spare one of these for this thing here then all these are the spare parts. And you never seem to get a spare one of these or a spare wheel or anything like that. Which is a little on the odd side, but there you go. Well, total pip. Okay, so I gave it 24 hours. 24 hours. And I decided to come back and look at it again, to be brutally frank. Uh, because as I was editing everything together earlier, I kind of took another look at everything and started seeing things that I hadn't noticed initially. Uh, like the gaps that you get over here. I'm not sure if an actual racing car would actually have gaps like that, but 
all over the fenders, okay, all over the rims and so on. You've got all these little gaps, and in some cases they're quite glaringly obvious. I, yeah, I just completely missed them the first time, but it's on both sides. Uh, that's not particularly good, it doesn't really complete the picture, it just sort of makes it look incomplete in many ways. Maybe if they'd had different bricks here, something else altogether, something to sort of more fill the gap in a different way. And just looking at these actual pieces, they are just literally curved sections like this. If they had maybe a slightly different version with another section that came out here and here, that would probably bridge the gaps a bit. Or if they had something that actually went downwards, okay, that would probably help as well. Um, but overall, yes, there are some nice attentions to detail. Like uh, if you look in here, you'll probably see an attempt to form a rough suspender type function there with a couple of little pegs and so on and so forth. And that looks quite nice, but it's very rare that you'd actually be looking there. There's also the great big gap you might notice here. No window or anything like that. It's just literally a gap. It's uh, a nice enough looking piece, I suppose, if you are going to build a collection and have something like this in the collection. It might be best to just to have this as a background piece, so something that's slightly out of sight, slightly out of mind, but still there just to sort of fill it up the numbers. Otherwise, if you can find some way to get around this little snafu, uh, that might actually be, uh, that might be something you can do as a project, I suppose. Well, total pips.